you're Rockaby. You know that. Oi, get back here. Shit. What do you think? Just run, you idiot. Bollocks. Over there. Come on, down here. No, eat. There's a train. Peter. Just don't stop. Try to keep up. Come on, this way. See you. Come on. Nice work. What? Huh? You're late. Uh, who the hell are you? You were supposed to be here 20 minutes ago. I gave you clear instructions. Anyway, come on. We can probably still make it if you're quick. What are you talking about? Hang on, Pete. Hey, mate, can you get us out of here? What? Are you kidding? Didn't you hear me? We don't have time for this. Either you're coming or piss off. But don't expect a refund. This isn't a charity. Guess we're going with him, then. That thing's radioactive. Get back! Chicken. Sam! Oh my god. It's now or never, son! They're over there! So be it. Wait! You're nicked. The other one's through that door! Gotcha! No. I don't believe it. Yes, I am fully aware of the time. Just give me a sec and we'll be out of here. Ready when you are. I did my lunch already, so you don't need to worry about that. And I know you said I couldn't have a crisp sandwich, 
but I put ketchup on it, so it's one of my five a day. Oh, and before I forget, you know I asked you to sign my homework diary. Well, you don't need to worry about that anymore. I managed to forge your signature. By the way, a friendly reminder, there's nothing in the freezer. Can you go to the shop? Maybe get some of that new mouthwash while you're there. You know, the one with the picture of the dragon on the bottle. It's the best one because it shows all the bits of bad breath in the sink when you spit it out. Dad, can I get an electric toothbrush for my birthday? My friend Dylan has one. He said it's really fun, like going on the car wash, but in your mouth. Maybe we could share it with two different brush heads, obviously. You need a new toothbrush anyway. Your one has hairs all over it. And it looks as flat as a pancake. Dad, how come I have hair and you don't? You have some, but it's in the shape of a horse. Will I have horseshoe hair when I'm older? OK, all set. Phone, Dad. Phone. Right, give it a buzz for me, Mum. Downstairs is a rotten turnip. I don't want to be a turnip, not or otherwise. and some post for that man, Jack. What's the deal with Jack's post always coming to us? Well, postman not doing his job properly, I suppose. Guess we better do it for him. Roger that! So, chicken dippers for dinner? Oh, I don't know. Probably should try and be a bit more healthy. How about white fish? on a bed of lentils. Wow, get you, Jamie Oliver. Oh, hey. I've uh, got your post again. Ah, oh, nice. Cool. Yeah, cheers. Jack, your clothes look mental. <laughs> what? No, they're not. Come on, Mole. Leave the fella alone. They're so tight. Doesn't your will get pinched? <laughs> Funny kid. Anyway, I have to go. Uh, nice seeing you both. Uh, do you have any posts for us? Yeah, hand it over. Stealing posts is a crime. Ah, oh, yeah, I, I do. There you go. Sorry, it's a bit of a pile. Some of these are two months old. You messed up, Jack. Anyway, um, I've really got to run. Don't give yourself a wedgie. You see that? Laziness. Couldn't even bother to bring me my damn post. I like him. Promise me you won't turn out like that. Don't worry, Dad. Your daughter's a super genius. 
that's what I like to hear. Why don't you and Jack be friends? You don't have any friends. Charles is my friend. Yeah, but she's a work friend. You need cooler friends. Friends who jog and have stupid hair. Yeah, your definition of cool is slightly different to my mum. You were joking about fish on a bed of mentals, right? You're going to turn into a chicken dipper one of these days, and then they'll lock me up. Well, that's silly. I think some of these letters are from social services again. Don't worry. If they send one of those people around again, I'll shoot them with a machine gun, then push them down the rubbish chute. See you later then, nuisance. Don't forget dinner. Love you too. Gross. Bye, Dad. Close shave. Yeah. Late for work. Whereabouts do you work? Sorry, mate. What with that? Just making small talk. Sorry. I'm being rude. Don't worry. See you around. It's expensive stuff. Are you guys all right? The screen smashed. Do you know how expensive these are? Look, let me uh, let me help you out. Get away from my stuff, thief. I'm just trying to help. Give me your arm. You too, you too. Made for each of them. What the hell just happened? Sorry, mate. Oh, gotta go. Right.
What time do you call this? Sorry, I, um, got held up. Oh, never mind that. I need your advice on something. Let's hear it. So, I met Darren again last night. You know, the one with the funny ears. Sorry. There's just too many to keep track of. Anyway, he invited me back to his last night. Finally! Nice work. Has he texted you since? Oh, John. Bless. No one texts back that quick. So are you going to that drinks thing on Thursday? It's at that expensive cocktail bar, right? No, I think I'll pass. Oh, well. You will be missed. Morning. Or should I say afternoon? It's only just gone nine. Nine oh two by my watch. Synced to Big Ben. Good grief. Careful, sunshine. Don't forget who's in charge around here. You're our supervisor, not our prison warden. <laughs> now all I can think about is Shaz in handcuffs. Do you even do any work round here? If you knew the pressure I'm under to hit the new targets, the fact I'm keeping it together is a miracle. A crappy miracle. Oh, he's popped up, hasn't he? You better wind your neck in. Don't forget you're on report for all those days off. Yeah, because he was in hospital. Shaz, that's tragic. Come on. Print, you bastard! Hello, welcome to Technical Support. To help us with your query, in your own words, please describe your problem. The paper is jammed in the printer and I can't get it out. Thanks. Did you say you would like to upgrade your account? Supervisor! 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 I'll put you through to one of our support team advisors. Finally! We are currently experiencing a high number of calls. You are number 164 in the queue. Please hold. All right, 5.30. Let's get out of here. John, mate, where do you think you're going? Um... I'm going home. It's 5pm. I think we're entitled. Didn't you get my email? I marked it as important. You couldn't have missed it. Uh, I didn't see an email from you. Oh, no. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, long story short, there's been a bit of a foul-up. Anyway, I need the Royal Oak files completed by the start of tomorrow. I think it can keep. Mm, no can do. The big man upstairs says it's tomorrow or your department is in deep doo-doo. I'll stick around and help you out. Well, it's John's cases. I don't think we should set a precedent of sharing out work. Thanks, Shaz, but it's, it's OK. What about Molly? Oh, get a sitter. You go home. Good lad. All right. Well, if you're sure, I'll see you outside Molly's school tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Shaz. And remember, it's a school night, so don't get up to too much trouble. Ugh. You never sent an email, did you? Shit rolls downhill, mate.
You forgot dinner, didn't you? Oh, I'll fix us something. I'll throw some things together. I think there's some jelly in the fridge. So much for healthy eating. Who am I to complain? It's kind of late for you to get back. I've been here since three o'clock. Well, Molly, what do you want me to do? Get a childminder? Yes. You don't need a childminder. And anyway, we can't afford one. Well, I did my homework. Do you want to check it? Yeah, just, just let me rest my eyes for five minutes and then I'll sort out food and then I'll take a look at your homework. All right? Sorry. I think I overslept again. Wait a minute. Where am I? Molly? Molly, are you here? What the hell is all this stuff? Where the hell am I? What's up with my voice? My body feels weird. <laughs> 